Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa and you're at Melissa's Corner. We're going to talk today about the rabbit hole of denim. Denim, yes. I was on a live yesterday with Dee Dee Bean. I'm going to link that video down below. It was over on her channel, so you'll have to go over there to, to watch it and tell her hi and subscribe to her while you're there too. Well, it was all about the denim rabbit hole that we we have both gone down. Her hole is deeper than mine though, yes. But she showed she had the Coach Denim Quilted Tabby in the 20, and she unboxed also the 26. They are both gorgeous. Well, I kind of revealed yesterday on her video that I had a little some some in the mail and it was going to be the denim tabby quilted. I don't know how ever you say it. In the 20, yes. And for me, that is small. I really wanted the 26, but I got the 20. And I'm I'm glad I did because I wouldn't be able to get it right now, any of them, because they're so hard to find. They're they're scarce. They are scarce. And I think, I think the denim is a limited edition. Is that true? Tell me what what you guys know. I, I think it is a limited edition. So that makes it even hotter than it would be normally. But they're going to come out with some more. They're like in July. But right now, mm -mm, nope. Spring, summer, you're going to, you're going to be missing out. So I have this bag I want to share with you guys. But I have a new system because I'm not going to play with bags anymore as far as I like it and I get it and keep it. It has to hit five things. And I, I have this little dry erase board that I put it on. And i got to check all, all the boxes or have the majority of the boxes checked off on here. The quality, the price, the function of the bag the design, and I have to love it. So I can't just like it, I have to love it. So I have to check off the boxes, and if there's more cons than there are pros, I'm not keeping it, it's going back. It's just like, no, 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 I, I, I have bags, I have my collection that I've been working on, I've been rehoming some bags to get it to just like, you know, chef's kiss of what I want as far as my bags. I don't need every single bag that comes out, no. But the denim bags, I had no denim. Zero, zilch, none, nada, not a one. And I am 56 years old and I've never in my life had a denim bag. So I am late to the game, but I'm not gonna go too overboard. I'm gonna keep it at, at a very minimal that was a hole in my collection that I just needed to to fill a little bit, just to you know, juice it and fluff it, and now it's now it's there. Today I used, I took this to physical therapy. Um, this is my Mark Jacobs crystal, the tote bag. Can you see that bling bling? Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. I had compliments on her right out of the gate when I got to the doctor's office and um, everybody loved it. So yeah, I, I do too. She, she hits every box. Yes. My soft tabby up here hits every box. So, and they're, they're, they're not going anywhere. They're staying. So let's get into the denim quilted. Tabby from Coach. Here is the little baby. All right. She is little. Mm hmm. If you guys ever watched the SNL skit of the tiny, tiny ass bag, well, this is a tiny ass bag. It's not going to hold a lot. And that's about it. I think that's what they say. That's about it. And uh, she's. She is cute. And Kevin, and we're here to tell you that right now, Tiny is huge. Tiny ass bag is perfect for carrying. One airport and the third. <laughs> One Altoid and the third. Hot smoke cigarette and the third. Looking for a damn cell phone? Go to Walmart, pig. <laughs> this 
And here she is. This is the denim quilted tabby in the 20. So what do I think about it? I, 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 I think she's really cute. I do. The material, the denim, it's a heavy denim. It is nice. She is squishy, but not too squishy. She's squishy, but she's firm, if that makes any sense. But I looked her over, all over, for any type of um, quality issues, which the Coach Tabby was um, experiencing with some unboxings. Uh, every stitch is in place on this bag. There is no crinkling on the C. The back of the bag, the back pocket is nice and straight. It's not, um, you know, slanted or anything like that. The chain is perfect. The hang tag is perfect. The inside is perfect. So as far as all of that, this is the perfect little bag. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, open her up. She still has her stuffing in here. I really like the color of this denim also. So here she is on the inside. And of course, that little front pocket, which is so small. It's going to be really limited on what you can do as far as that pocket. So let's take a look at what I have. This bag I told you I took today. She is fully packed with everything. Now, do I need all of this? No, I don't need all of this. I was in my red patent uh, uh, Ferragamo and I put it, it's right back here now. I couldn't get out of that bag. It is so comfortable, so perfect, but it's so easy to overload it because you just keep putting things in and in and in. So when I swapped from that bag into the Marc Jacobs tote, this is all the stuff I, of course, couldn't put into it. So they're not necessities. We'll just leave it right there. So let's see what's from here that can go in here as far as packing. Now, one thing I could always put in a pocket of a jacket or I could tuck it in my shirt like I do, but it's my Louis Vuitton uh, six key key holder. So we'll put that in. This is my coach little zippy card case. This is a bigger case than I could carry. I could always go down to a smaller one. So, but we're gonna see what we can do with that. I like to carry this little Portland leather good. This has like my, um, insurance cards, my um, different things that I need to be able to access just in case are in here. And I also have my Portland leather goods, little change holder. And if I have room, I like to carry a little lotion. And this is just a Dior lippy. Is there anything else that I would like really have to have? Well, I like to carry a pocket knife. I just do. So if I can get that in, you can already tell. We're, this all is not going to go into this tiny ass bag. It's just not. But let's see what we can do. Um, anything else? Oh, yes. I love to carry. And it comes in handy. This is my um, tummy medicine, ibuprofen, and Tylenol. All in this little thing. So. Let's see what we can put in the tiny ass bag. All right. You got to go watch that if you have it. It's so funny. Okay. So I've got my card case. We'll pop that in the back pocket here. I've got this little card case. We'll stick that in the front. My change holder. We'll see if we can just pop that right in here. Uh, my pocket knife will fit in here. My lotion and my lippy. Well, 
this is where we're going to start to have a little struggle. Okay, the last, well, besides the keys, I have my um, Tylenol ibuprofen. Let's try putting that right here in the front pocket and see if that'll work. I don't know. Okay, so I have all of this in this bag now. And it's not going to close. So let's see what we could do to change this around. If I took out this big fluffy zip card case, I just got this, guys. This was on the last act for um, at Macy's for $37.43. It matches that Win wallet that I purchased. I have it right here, too. And, of course, that's not going to fit in here. Let's see if I can get in here. Since it's handy and just right here, right now, let's see. Okay, so if I put... This is it. It's cute, right? I, I think it's cute. It goes with the wallet. But the wallet, no, no, not going to work. So we're going to take the card case. I'm going to pop the card case in here. That gives me some room. And let's, let's, let's see. Can I get it? I'll, I'll show you guys. See if I can get it closed now. I might have to turn something on its side. Okay, so I have everything in this bag. Will it close now? Yes. I can get all of that in here and closed. Well, let's see. It's, it's right there. I'm just not getting it. I don't have my glasses on. There we go. So everything is in this bag except my keys. So, of course, like I said, I could carry it in my shirt in a pocket somewhere on me. So it's not a deal breaker because that won't fit. My phone, I usually also have here or in a pocket, but I could stand it up in the back on, you know, up. It's not going to be tucked in, but it would just be a quick place to put my phone if I needed to. So this bag, I can get my necessities in. I would call this probably a a wallet on a chain for me, basically. It is just the, it's the bare nuts and bolts is what this is. This is, this is it. That's all, that's all you're getting in here unless you want to try to condense it down even more. But that's the stuff that I really need and would want to have on me. So let's play on here just a little bit more. So I'm going to undo it and... If I took out this little change purse, because it's kind of, you know, it's, it, it has some girth. And let's see. I could leave the lotion. Let's see if we can make it to where the keys are going to fit in. I highly doubt it. Highly, highly doubt it. And okay, I'd have to take out the little change case, the pocket knife. Yeah, no, the keys are just too darn big if I'm going to carry anything in here. So the keys are just going to have to go somewhere else. But everything else goes in this bag. So let's talk about the bag. I'm going to have some um, uh, pics, little footage of me, what it looks like on. So I have my handy dandy board here and I've got my pins. And let's go through and check off where we're at on this bag. Okay, the the price of this bag is $395. We're going for outrageous prices on eBay and on the secondary market right now. That doesn't make it right, but I'm just saying it goes for $395. So the quality of the bag, the quality is excellent. It is great denim. It's heavy. The construction spot on there's no wrinkling no dimples the chain is gorgeous there's nothing nothing wrong with it and it's good quality good quality so we're going to give that a check okay so we got a check mark for the quality when it comes to the price at 395 
I know some people say, oh, well, uh, that's not bad, but that's a tiny ass bed for $395. Just saying. It just, it just is. At least in my world, it is. So if it was $395 and in the $26, I'd say thumbs up. Awesome. I'm going to have to give the price. It, it's it's just, it's not right there to me, to me, as far as the price goes. The function of the bag. Talked about everything that I got in there, everything that I need. So it functions fine. It's just a tiny ass bag. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a, I'm giving that a green mark because I can get what I need in the bag. The design of the bag. I think the design is cuter than cute. I love it. But why do we have a center compartment in there? It's not, it doesn't have a zipper. It does nothing. It separates the bag. If that was not there, I could have probably put my keys in. I, I, I mean, I'm sure they have it, a purpose. There's a reason for that. But if it wasn't there, it would be, it would be like spot on as far as the design. But that I don't like about it. So we're going to give you a green mark. And I'm going to give you a red mark because that little centerpiece, I'm not, I'm not digging too much. And then we come down to love it. Do I love it? I cannot just like it. I have to love it. So this little bag here, do I love it? I do. I absolutely do. I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I think it's going to work great for anything that I need to carry um, just for a trip out or, you know, or I could put it inside a bigger bag of tote if I'm carrying it and take that one out when I get somewhere and leave the tote in the car or something like that. So, yes, we've got our green mark down at Love It. So our total final score is four points out of five. Green, love it. And two points are the cons. So my pros and my cons, my pros outweigh my cons on this bag by, you know, a pretty good amount, over double. So this bag, it's a keeper. Yes, it is. And this is what I'm going to do to start my bags. You know, if, if my cons are wishy-washy or just not hitting those marks, I'm not going to keep it. It's going back. That's just the way it's going to be from now on. So, yeah, I think it's time to cut the tags, give her a little spray, and she's joining the family. That's what she's doing. So stay tuned for the mod shots here at the end. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. But please remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So, yes, tiny ass bag, I hear you hold whispers. And that's about it.